All right, so we're gonna be doing Around the States next. So this one's a Steps Tower, Fatal 4-Way Tower, which I think is gonna be our first Fatal 4-Way Tower. Maybe not of the stream or, you know, whatever, but it's gonna be our first one, at least in quite a while anyway. Uh, so this one we're gonna do because it makes sense. It's over the top rope, it's elimination style, that sort of thing. And we'll kind of navigate those waters from there. Uh, so it looks like the final boss is gonna be John Cena, Tommaso Ciampa, and Oni Lorcan, I think. So then we have, yeah. So it looks like we also have a New Day member, someone else, and then Bray Wyatt a little bit. We have EC3, Dolph Ziggler, and The Miz in another tier. And then we have Rey Mysterio, Samoa Joe, and Shelton Benjamin in another tier, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of like a hodgepodge mixture of different stars. So let's try to like actually pick someone that could be fun to play as. Honestly, I'm kind of cool with playing as like one of these DLC characters because I think it'd be fun. I think, again, we might stick to our theme of like uh, Rumble winners for this. So, oh yeah, okay, cool. So Seth the Wanderer is pretty cool to play as in general. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of who we should play. How about we play as Batista? Yes, our dude Batista is coming back here. This is not a drill. I realize Batista could probably be better suited for another tower of some sort, but I think it'll be fun. So there you have it. So I'm going to jot down Batista in my little thing. And so we'll go from there. So as always, bring your snacks, bring your hot chocolate or your choice of beverage. And let's do this. So there you have it. We're going to play as Batista. So let's start this tower. So this is tower number three of the stream we are taking on. Bobby Fish of Undisputed Era, Luke Harper, uh, who just got released, I believe, earlier this month or sometime last month. It was right around this. It's, it's, it's recent. So within the last month or so, he got released slash his release got granted. And then, of course, you have Tony Nese, former cruiserweight champion in the house. So we're playing as Batista. Congratulations to Batista on becoming a WWE Hall of Famer in this upcoming WrestleMania season. So get excited about that. Dude, Batista was like my favorite for a while growing up. Like, I am not even joking. Batista was literally my favorite. So yeah, again, we need thumbnail options and I want to get Pyro. Perfect. Can we get Xavier Woods to go nuts over the music, please? Dude, Batista's the freaking best part of my freaking childhood, almost. Like, dude, like when Batista had that face turn against Triple H, like when he won the Rumble. That was like the coolest thing ever. And like, I was only, I think like eight at the time. So I was like just starting to get into it. I started getting into wrestling around 2004, which was a very weird year in wrestling in general. Get ready to feel a shot. So yeah, we're gonna be playing as Batista. Oh god. To this type of match which makes it so interesting is that it can lead to the formation of Hey, Batista's won like two Royal Rumbles. I think he's more than qualified. Cool. All right, you're next, bro. Oh, okay. Well, that Bro, what are you doing, bro? Bobby Fish, what are you doing? Let's let's get him together. Walk alone. <laughs> okay, you can you can get him, Tony Nice. And if not, I'll I'll okay. I was like, dude, you can go get him. I got him in place for you, but apparently, okay, okay. My dude, seriously, go go get him eliminated. Just remember, we walk alone inside this pit of danger. Replacement. I play this for now. One follows me. I'll walk alone. 
God. What's imperative to know your surroundings at all times. Utilize KG Oh crap. Dude. Thank you. I appreciate that quite a bit. The fatal four-way match works like this. Four superstars are in the ring all at once. There are no count outs and no disqualifications. You have four superstars who are throwing down in the ring all at the same time. Here we go. Here we go. Bye. Huge win. Here is your winner. The we don't deserve Batista. Batista. Wait, why did the lights go down? Oh, was this during that weird spotlight phase Batista had on wrestling? Can we get, like, vintage Batista and modern Batista again? That'd be great. Just like how... I think that... Yeah, that was in 2K15 where they had, like, evolution involved and stuff. So we had, like, Legend Killer Randy Orton and also Batista. Wait, how did... Okay. I'm not going to question these star bonuses, but okay. So we got, uh, what did I have stars? So we only got like one star, essentially, because they don't round up like their attendance numbers. But we got one out of six matches down. We got five more to go. So get excited. We earned 105 VC from that match. <laughs> All right, so next up we have Rey Mysterio. Oh, I thought that was Shelton Benjamin. My bad. Uh, that was, okay, we got Apollo Crews. Wait, what? I did not sign up for this. Okay, well, we're still going to plow through it because it's the least we can do. That is so misleading. Dudes, that's so misleading. Okay, so we have Samoa Joe, Rey Mysterio, and Apollo Crews in a Hell in a Cell Fatal 4-Way. We have a 20-minute time limit, no ring out count, and we can win by pin and fall or submission. And modifications, they have quick stamina regain. We're so screwed. Okay, maybe picking Batista was not a bad idea after all, because he does have Hell in a Cell experience. If you're looking for a good Batista Hell in a Cell match, uh, I think he had one with Undertaker, I'm pretty positive, but one I would totally recommend is from 2005. I think it was the Vengeance pay-per-view where he had that rematch against Triple H. I think that was their last like match from their original feud back in 2005, so just letting you all know that exists. Y'all, I totally freaking forgot about Apollo Crews. My God. Also, Samoa Joe's face turn from like, Monday Night Raw. That was awesome. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, y'all can go get me in a little bit. Hey, if 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 Joe wants to fight, I'll fight Joe. Come on, buddy. Let's take this outside the ring. Someone go fight me outside the ring. Batista, what are you doing? Nice right hand. Oh, okay. That's not exactly how I planned this out, but okay. A place where no one follows me. I'll walk alone. Okay, baseball bat works. Dude, why are we not able to leave the cell? My dude. Okay, so that was that mistakes were made, fam. Mistakes were made. Y'all, nobody likes us. Oh, God. I was like, who the heck is that, man? Can you even, like, let me get back in the ring, please? Dude, stop going after me. I know I'm Batista, but my God. Rey Mysterio and Apollo Crews can, like, stop now. Like, this is not elimination style for Fatal 4-Way. Oh, my God. I forgot what the name of the match was called. <laughs> That's bad. My favorite match is Melina versus Alicia Fox. <laughs> hey, y'all can go fight outside. I'm gonna be in here, fam. So, yeah, this is our first Fatal 4-Way Tower, I think, on the stream. 
So get excited about that. Ray, what are you doing? Oh god, that's an arm bar! That's an arm bar! Okay, guys, we got it. It's fine. Oh my god! My apologies to those listening with headphones on right now. Apollo Cruz, if you win this thing, I will play as you in a tower, I swear to god. But yeah, we have like over 60 towers left to complete, so in case you're wondering how many towers there are, including DLC, I would say that there's probably somewhere in the artery of like 100 of them. Ray? Ray Mysterio has no chill, fam. Can y'all, like, go after each other? That would be quite great. Oh god, this is painful. Alright, getting a table? We'll try. There's four people in the ring right now, but we shall try. Ray, I am going to get a table and you can't stop me. Y'all, I'm trying to get a table. Okay, thank you. Ray, let me get the table into the ring that we can fight. Thank you. Okay, we got a table in the ring. I don't know what that means. Ray, wrong, wrong direction. Thank you. Oh no, looks like we're gonna have to regroup, but it's fine. They can beat each other up for a hot minute. Alright, Apollo, you're next. Yeah, I would, but I'm like trying to just win this match. I swear to God, if Apollo Crews wins this match, I am playing a tower as Apollo Crews. Oh, okay, well that worked. I guess I used both X. Okay, I'm gonna see who wins between. Here comes Apollo, starting to build. Apollo Crews missed a big opportunity. Oh! Joe finds his target with that one, as usual. Oh, yeah. drop. He's looking to do more damage from the ropes here. Oh man, what a boot! Moved out of the way. I walk alone. Ray? No. That was amazing. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Russian leg sweep. Hits him with a gut wrench super. Apollo Crews actually might have this fan. Will he be victorious? This is not a drill. All right, come on, bro. Go, 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 ref, go, go, go. One, two, three. Oh God, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I thought these were just gonna be like Rumble Royal Rumble type towers, but here we we just like totally stepped on Apollo Crews. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh my so god. We ways. did it! We did it, people! We did it! We got another match done in a Fatal 4-Way Tower. And guys, that's exactly okay, we don't suck at this. It's fine. Alright, so we got 3.5 stars in that match. We were 360 VC in that match as well. We're 2 out of 6 matches down in the Around the States Fatal 4-Way style tower. We're at SummerSlam. Oh, I was going to say, I swear to God, if this is like, okay, so this is a two out of three falls, a two out of three falls fatal four way. I'm so confused. Okay. Oh, it's a finisher match. Okay. But what happens if you have three people that get all to get their finishers on? I'm so confused. So it's a two out of three falls finisher match. Okay. So we're taking on Dolph Ziggler, EC3, and The Miz. And then afterwards, we got a match with... Hang on. We got Big Show, Bray Wyatt, and Big E. 
Then we have Cedric Alexander, AJ Styles, and Braun Strowman. And then the last match has John Cena with his JBL hair, uh, Tommaso Ciampa, and I think that's Oni Lorcan, which I think is hilarious. So this is a two out of three falls finisher fatal four-way match. Holy crap. Okay, that was a lot to say. There's a lot to unpack. Oh, oh thank God we picked Batista. Thank God. I'm so glad that we picked Batista for this now. <laughs> Batista! All right, sorry everyone. Need a little bit of my hot chalky, or hot chocolate as I should say. All right, Ziggles, go away. Oh, my boy, EC3. EC3 deserves better. Okay, my legs just got really cold and I don't know why or how that happened. Okay, here we go. Two out of three falls match. All right, so EC3's only got like three reversals, so it might be wise to focus on EC3. Remember when he had those wins over Dean Ambrose earlier in the year and they just kind of forgot about him or something? It's like, we can, can we just have EC3 with Drake Maverick again? Because those two were magic in TNA. Like, they were so good together. They complemented each other quite well. Like, just EC3 deserves better. That is a hill I am willing to die on. I remember when uh, EC3 actually... This was, like, before he became EC3. So when he was Derek Bateman, I remember actually going to an indie show of his after he left uh, WWE. Uh, so that, it was, like, between WWE and Impact, I think. So that happened. Uh, I think it was like literally right before or like right after he went to Impact. It was like somewhere in that weird time frame, I think. So there you have it. But it was really cool. So it was an Ohio show. Hello, how are you doing? We are somehow doing a Fatal 4-Way Tower. Uh, this is a two out of three false finisher fatal four-way match, so we have to get our finisher on someone to win the match. So, th there's a lot to unpack. There really is. <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna make it through, I promise. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna get some different match types in this somehow. Uh, the game itself is on PS4, but my version's on the Xbox One. So you can get there to be 2K20. In fact, if you get if you get it right now in stores, it should be like only $30 for the standard edition. Uh, the deluxe edition should be about 50, I think, 50 or 60. So if you need to go get your games right now, and that was the perfect time to go get them. There's the Steam sale that's going on through like the first of January. There's like all kinds of crazy sales for different consoles. So I'm actually in the process, I think, of getting Fire Pro Wrestling. So I'm really excited about that. But I also have like 10 other games, a ton other games I need to play first. Dude! Okay, I am literally trying to reverse something here, but yeah. Uh, this game is on PS4, uh, Xbox One, and PC. Thankfully, it's much better than it was at launch. Like, I haven't had any weird game crashes in a few streams. So, it seems like in the last week or so when the patch got released, uh, it's been running a lot smoother, in case you're wondering. Thank God. Because, like, I feel like 2K20 had so much potential, but if they would have given it another month to, like, develop and playtest it, then, like, we would have been fine. But no. I personally enjoy the crap out of it. There's still a couple things they need to iron out, but, like, they're getting there, I think. It's, mar it's much, much better than what it was at launch. A tag team? I can do some tag team stuff, potentially. Oh god, we got shred of we got a 
quick shred of heel Michael Cole on Xbox. I'm so confused. Yeah, let's see if we can at least get a signature maybe on him. Maybe. Okay, there we go. We at least got a signature. All right, so we're going to try to hopefully get the first finisher, hopefully. That's kind of the move. Uh, also, OMG moments count as finishers, too. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try anyway. Oh, he's not using his counter. Interesting. Sorry, EC3. <laughs> I wish EC3 would just go back to NXT just because, like, he was actually getting some sort of a, like, spotlight. But we got the first pinfall slash the first finisher, so there you have it. The referee's like, I'm out of here, fam. All right, here we go. We can do this. We gotta get our momentum back up, but I don't foresee that being an issue. What just happened there? I'm so confused. Well, not all the glitches are fully patched in or anything like that, but we're making this work. I realize we're kind of cheesing at this point, but it's fine. Oh god. I think I just like choked on something. I don't know what I just choked on. I'm so concerned. Alright, there we go. Oh no! Come on, Batista, you can do this. Oh, EC3's out of everything. Okay, we're in business. Oh, Miz got a finisher in. Dude. Seriously? Miz, can you leave, sir? I got EC3. You don't. He's in big trouble. But wait, what happens if, like, Ziggler or EC3 gets a finisher? You know what I mean? Pondering thoughts. I walk alone through this pit of danger. Here we go! We did it! We did it, everybody! We did it! Here is your winner, the animal! Batista! Very impressive win here in this. All right, so we earned three and a half stars in that match. Uh, so we earned 387 VC from that match as well. And there is Batista in all of his glory. So yeah, I like how you can get show and hide menu because it gives you some more thumbnail options. And it's just nice for the immersion sake too. So that way you don't have to go in into like different modes and get your victory scenes and stuff. I don't know, it looks more, it looks clearer to me anyway. We need to get Xavier Woods and just like go nuts. Just like get Xavier Woods just to go nuts in general. Okay. 
Oh, God. Okay. So blackout lights are on. We have 100% reduced body defense. They have 50% increased attack damage. Uh, it is a normal fatal four-way. Uh, no ring out count. 20-minute uh, time limit. Uh, so I guess whoever just wins first is the winner. That's what I'm thinking. Again, I usually don't do Fatal 4-Way Towers, but here we are. Uh, I think I was reluctant to try them out because of all the crazy game crashes that we were having for a little bit, but here we are nonetheless. Uh, we are going through this tower. We're going through as Batista because we can. Uh, start leaving your comments down below as to which tower, or not comments, but also like, and le start leaving stuff in the chat, uh, suggestions in the chat. Oh, Jesus. So start leaving suggestions in the chat for your uh, next for next towers that we should go through next. We can do legends. We can do two uh, K central ones. We can do whatever really. One of the aspects to this type of match, which makes it so interesting, is that it can lead to the formation oh, of the balls inside this, this pit of danger. Superstars all at the same time. Yeah, there was no way he was gonna get that right away. There's no shame in that. Come on, Batista. I believe in you, sir. So fun fact, my first WWE show was way back in like I think actually to the date, uh back in 2006. Uh the main event was like King Booker versus Batista for the world championship at the time. So that was a thing. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, it was December 27th, 2006, I think. It was like literally a day or two after Christmas. I remember that because it was like my Christmas gift that year. And I was 10 at the time, so I was like allowed to go because it was still before the PG era began. So there you have it. Uh, but I started watching wrestling around 2004, so. There are obviously pockets of like when I kind of wasn't into it, like around 2015 is kind of when I was like, eh, about it, you know what I mean? Uh, but then I got back into it around 2016, 2017, somewhere in that artery. Mainly when the brand split started coming back, that's when I started getting into it for sure. Uh, because before then it was like, okay, SmackDown's just a recap show at this point. Like at least it's how they treated it until like the brand split happened. Like, it was good up until, like, 2012, 2013, and then they just traded it as, like, recap show. I walk for miles inside this pit of danger. I am sorry, not sorry. Bataster! Two. Two! Three! All right! We're doing the thing. We've got four matches down, two more to go in this tower. So we earned 210 VC in that match as well. Let's go into the next one where we are taking on. AJ Styles, Cedric Alexander, and Braun Strowman. Interesting. So, pinfall submission, both are on. Sort of the same thing, so there's no ring out. Uh, there's no time limit this time. Uh, and so we have uh, no modifications. AI modification has maximum reversal slots. So, there you go. So, again, we are taking on AJ Styles, Cedric Alexander, and Braun Strowman. So there you have it. We're going to go into match number five out of six. And then as you can kind of see, we have Oni Lorcan, uh, Tommaso Ciampa, and John Cena with the JBL hair as our final match. So let's do this. Again, with these towers, you're not so concerned about, like, putting on five-star clinics unless if that's your thing. Uh, especially when you get triple threats and fatal four-ways. Uh, you just want to win the match. <laughs> That's kind of my best advice. Uh, so if you're in these towers, you'd be more concerned with just winning the matches than like how you win the matches or, you know, putting on a five-star match. Like this is not new Japan. 
I like. I'm I'm familiar with New Japan. I'm not like super like crazy. You know what I mean? Like I don't follow it as I probably should. But here we are. Also, if you, I'm still surprised we have not played through a tower with AJ yet either. I feel like one of the longer ones we need to play with AJ or like Daniel Bryan or someone. Well, we did a Samoa Joe and Dean Bryan tag team. That was fun. We should do like Samoa Joe and AJ Styles, you know, bring back some TNA days, all that good stuff. Over the years, the WWE Universe has been treated to some legendary moments courtesy of the I walk alone. SummerSlam 2017. Randy Orton put no. on the become champ for the fourth time. Both come to mind immediately. Forget that ancient history, Michael. This fatal four-way has all the makings of those past matches to shame. So, yeah, again, this is right before SmackDown, so I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with Braun next, especially since he had that encounter with Sammy and Shinsuke. I think that was Cesaro. They're just trying to figure out what to do with Cesaro. And I'm like, can you just send him to, like, NXT UK or something? Like, that would be a fun match to watch, Cesaro versus Valter. I think that'd be fun. Or just anyone over in NXT UK. I'll just put Cesaro in NXT UK, please. I'll be a happy person. So yeah, your goal when it comes to these fatal four-way matches, uh, just get your get your finisher, go for the pin, wear it on your opponent, get the match done as fast as possible. Uh, pick a strong dude like Batista. <laughs> That's kind of what you want to do in these matches. Just go with somebody big and strong. It makes life a lot easier. Oh, look at AJ taking it to Braun. Good job, AJ. I may have spoken too soon, but we'll see. I'm walking alone! <laughs> I'm just gonna like just start randomly belting out Batista's entrance theme. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. Right, friendos? Right. So this is match number five out of six matches total in this Fatal 4-Way Tower. I've actually had a lot more fun with this tower than I thought. It's actually made me concentrate on the matches a little bit more, so I can't really complain about that. I realize we're kind of low-key burying Cedric right now, Cedric Alexander. But you know what? We're trying to win the match, people. We're trying to win. Wait, since when did Braun Strowman go from the top rope? When did that happen? Only in 2K20, where nothing makes sense. What is Corey Graves up to? I'm starting to get really concerned with Corey Graves' commentary in this game. He's just like maniacally laughing for no reason. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? I'm walk alone! Okay, he's in the middle of the ref, count our pin. Thank you. One, two, three. <laughs> Again, it's not pretty, but we're Here is your winner, the animal. Okay then, my headset just started shorting out. That's kind of concerning. Just just a hair. <laughs> Fortnite sucks. Twelve zero eight. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. I'll walk alone. <laughs> I, I'm even worse than my YouTube channel, I think, with the Batista music. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually really glad that we got Batista for this one. So we got 184, 185 VC in that last match. Uh, we got one more match left. So this one has... Okay, this one's elimination style. Okay, this is fine. This one's elimination style. It's a regular Fatal 4-Way, so pinfalls and submissions are on. There's no time limit. Uh, we have maximum reversal slots, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, AI modifications, uh, they have faster momentum gain. But as you can see here, pinfall and submission only. Uh, no ring out slash no ring out count, I don't think. Uh, and then it's elimination style. So say, for example, Odie Lorcan pins John Cena somehow. Uh, then, like, it's just down to three people. So it turns into a triple threat elimination match and so on and so forth. So there you have it. Or if, like, Tommaso Ciampa pins Oni Lorcan, 
Then it, boi- then it comes down to Batista, Tommaso, and also John Cena. So there you go. This is our last match in our fourth tower. We're only two hours into the stream, minus about five minutes. So we're officially like two hours into the stream. I shaved off about five minutes for intro, five minutes for break. So we're almost two full hours into the stream in terms of actual gameplay. And we've got about three... Yeah, we got three towers basically almost done, so that's awesome. So this is the Around the States Tower once again, and it is an elimination-style Fatal 4-Way match, so get excited. We are taking on John Cena with JBL here, Tommaso Ciampa, who is honestly... I think he should win the award for, like, comeback of the year in WWE, or one of them anyway. And then Oni Lorcan, he's just awesome, so let's do this. (laughs) Let's dive into this, shall we? I think so. So yeah, I have a nice warm mug of hot chocolate. I got my second one. So there you have it. Oh god, I need to fix this cover on my chair. (laughs) It's fine. Everything's fine. Dude, I miss like Smackdown vs. Raw. That was a great series. My friends and I, we played so many all-nighters playing those games. It was kind of ridiculous, especially GM mode. Like, I pulled so many all-nighters for GM mode. Not and Also, I remember when Universe mode first came out, we pulled a lot of all-nighters on that. Did I fix Champa's entrance? I don't know if I did or not. Well, it's kind of too late to check that, but it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine! Okay, here we go. Who are we taking on? Oh, I'm so sorry, Champa. I don't want to have to destroy you, but I'm going to. If you find yourself in a one-on-one situation, you have to put Give me what I want. We had some great Batista moments in WWE. We really did. Well, I mean, the dude had like about a fifth. Yeah, when did he debut around? T- yeah, he debuted around 2002, 2003, something like that. Yeah, 2002. And he was uh, he was Deacon Batista with Reverend Devon. There we go. That's the title. I was trying to figure out where he debuted with because I remember talking about it on a video or on stream or something like that. I couldn't remember what Devon's former name was, like as in Devon Dudley, because when they first did the brand split in the first place around 2002, which I believe was after was that after WrestleMania 18? Yeah, that was after WrestleMania 18, I think. Yeah, that sounds right because that was the WrestleMania where Rock and Hogan should have went on last, apparently, but yeah, I actually agree with that, too. But, you get my point. That was after, right, yeah, it was right after WrestleMania 18, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, because Brock Lesnar debuted the next night, I believe, on Raw. Which, Brock Lesnar's rookie year was insane. Like, I've been going back and watching some old clips on SmackDown and just seeing what Brock Lesnar did, like, in 2002, 2003, and holy poop. Like, if Brock Lesnar just kept his two-year stint and didn't come back, like, that would have been awesome. But at the same time, I think, like, I like how he's kind of treated as, like, a final boss almost. So I'm kind of cool with that. I don't like how he's holding the titles hostage, but I do like how he's treated, like, as a final boss figure. All right, here we go. I'm so sorry, Tommaso Champa. We should do like a DIY tower where we have like Tommaso and Johnny in a tower. All right, so things on the to-do list, get AJ Styles in a solo tower and also get DIY back together in a tower. I walk alone. One, two. Oh, 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 oh no. One, two, three. All right, Oni Lorcan's out. Poor Oni Lorcan. My poor dude. Hey, I lost my finisher. What the crap, man? Cena, I'm going to punch you. Okay, you can take another one. Fine, bury everybody. Get your shovel, Cena. Go get your shovel. Take credit for all my hard work. I see what you're doing. The people know, too. Fine. You take credit for all my hard work, Cena. I did the damage on the poor Champa, and you just got the win. I see what you're doing, Super Cena. I see what you're doing. Also, that whole feud between Cena and Batista around, I think that was, what, WrestleMania 26? That sounds right. 
Like, I was all on Team Batista. I'm like, screw that, man. I'm, I'm going on Team Batista. Batista turns it around. One, two, three, four. He walks alone inside this pit of danger. Okay. I, I swear to God, somebody better have kept a counter of like how many times I start singing Batista's entrance music at some point. It's probably at least in, it's probably at least like 10 times, I'm sure. But he has like my favorite entrance music, so I'm just gonna throw, or at least one of my favorites. Uh, ones that I currently like today, uh, if I had to pick a favorite SmackDown Live one, uh, probably Baron Corbin has one of my favorites in general. Uh, I'm obviously gonna love CM Punk's all the way because it's cool. Uh, Kevin Owens has just like that fighting style one that makes sense to me. John Cena's is obviously iconic, both of them are. In fact, like my Spotify reminded me that like basic thugonomics existed. It's, uh, Cena, what are you doing? Cena! What are what is this man doing? Did you all just see that? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm a mess, fam. Alright, Super Cena, you're going down. Wait, why are you not letting me pin? Okay, thank you. One, two, three, thank you. Alright, tower's done, everybody. Yeah, this has been a crazy stream, but I'm here for it. We're only about two hours gameplay-wise into the stream, so that's pretty baller. And we already got three full towers done. Granted, they were all shorter towers, but they're all good towers. And they all have been good towers, nonetheless, so far. So, yeah, uh, we are... We also have 16 more followers to go until we hit our first 50 followers, so... That's exciting. So yeah, first two hours, we got two new followers. So welcome aboard to the nerdy world, as we're gonna affectionately call it for right now. So thank you to HIE142. Also thank you to Fortnite Sucks 1208. And I don't know if I got to these last two in the last stream, but thank you to JR Ellison97 and also IQOFA Coconut. So there you go. I think I'm caught up. So there you have it. That is the end of the Around the States Tower. Uh, this was our first Fatal 4-Way Tower, which was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I'm going to play some more of these Fatal 4-Way and Triple Threat type towers. So uh, we officially have 386 stars, or not, no, 386 VC from this tower. We finished out with 18 out of 30 because, again, the tower stars, they're kind of glitched out. Uh, we earned 1,000 VC from completing said tower, and that is that. So we are officially done with the Around the States Tower with Batista and all of his glory. So there you have it. That is the end of the Around the States Tower.